We have our Blackstone griddle. I just turned it up to medium high ish. It'll get hot here in a second. Uh, first step's always bacon because it takes a little while to cook. And then after that, everything's super quick, rapid fire. I like to use the right brand bacon if I can. We are in Albemarle, North Carolina today. <laughs> we're, we're soaking up your knowledge. Okay. If your idea of soaking up knowledge is getting tips and tricks from a guy who spends his life in a Walmart park a lot, you might be a redneck. <laughs> Every day we've had at least one person come from Carol South Carolina. Here we go. Tell us everything about yourself. It's not much. <laughs> oh, come on. Tell me about him. He's a great cook on the griddle. Very messy cook, but it always turns out delicious. But that means it's a good cook, it's right? Good. It's a good cook. What do you say? Do you agree? I agree. Are you a neat cook or a messy cook? I'm a messy cook, too. Messy cook. All right. And over here again, this is our fun gallery. Howdy, Allison. This is the... Um, twins. Did you say hi to the Wall Twins? Shout out to Wall Twins. Shout out to the Wall Twins, man. Come on, shout out to the Wall Twins. Love you guys. All right. And this is the luxury box suite. So in a Walmart parking lot, we have luxury box suite. And you can see it's apparently unofficially sponsored by... Cheer wine. Cheer wine. Here, can you reenact the chicken wing thing for us here? There we go. We're reenacting. We did that live a few minutes ago. And... Uh, I realize this is a different audience. This is our setup here today. So we'll go back, I'll freshen up, and we'll continue with our bacon fried corn. Bacon fried corn. Look, at there's our other side of the trailer, by the way. So it's been four days here in North Carolina, having a blast. We're finishing up today. I fly back to Colorado tonight, and then Wednesday, fly up to Roanoke, because we have four days, two in Christiansburg, Lowe's and Walmart, one in Radford at a Walmart, and one in Roanoke at a Walmart. So next, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the greater Roanoke area. The bacon is looking right nice, folks. So let me grab, I'm always forgetting something. Walk, walk of shame number 13, right? <laughs> it's not a walk of shame if you're not ashamed. I'm proud to go in there. I, back, in the, back in the day, man, it was just, I was alone in Walmart parking lots. Nobody helping, no trailer. Just, they would dump a pallet off, like a FedEx truck. I'd have to unbox the thing and just everything by myself. And man, I, ha I could tell you stories. And I will later. I will tell you stories. Okay, so the bacon's looking good. Gonna move that over to the side. I'd say it's 75% done, uh, maybe even more. Let's get our corn over here. So here we go, down with the frozen corn. Uh, I've done frozen or fresh. I've never used canned. I suppose you could use canned. And uh, the, bake, the corn starts to thaw, and then we'll mix it up with that bacon grease, and that's where the magic happens. If you literally just had, if you literally just had the corn and the bacon with nothing else, it'd blow your mind. It's delicious if you've never had it. But of course, everything else is what's really going to kick it up to the next level. Bacon's looking really nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mix it up with the grease and the, bake, uh, the corn. Got some minced onion here, minced onion going down as well. It's all going to saute up inside there. And I may or may not have forgotten to put some garlic paste in here. So I think I did. So yeah, let's go ahead and put some garlic paste in there. Eventually. There's one. Garlic paste. Like that. 4.12 tablespoons. <laughs> garlic paste. Yeah, so pureed garlic with soybean oil. Yeah. It's the best way if you want to... If you want to have really good garlic, fresh garlic flavor, but you don't have time to peel a bunch of garlic, yeah, buy it in the produce section, about four bucks. It's like 50, uh, 50 cloves of garlic pureed up with oil. All right, this should be good. Pardon me? Hopefully, we'll see how it works out. Oh, 
Oh, it's all good. All right, let's do a jalapeno in there. Maybe two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right, bring the heat. Later on, we gotta bring the camera over. You gotta do a close up of you going with your shirt off, flexing like, I mean, it's gotta be very impressive. We'll get that oil so you can. Normally, I'll take the seeds up, but we got 15 pounds of food, so I'm just gonna do two with the seeds, and that should be enough to just put a little extra spice in there. Unless, of course, I don't mix it and one person gets it all. If you don't like jalapeno, just whatever is green in there, just get rid of it. There you go. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give me ideas. You gotta start making some bacon fried corn. It's great. So, you know, traditionally this is a, uh, a southwestern side dish, but perfect for barbecue too, man. I mean, you had, you know, brisket, pulled pork, whatever, baked beans, coleslaw, and this would sit right alongside those delicious side dishes. Some people out west, some people will mix like mayonnaise with it when they're done as well. Like if you go to like the food trucks out in Los Angeles, uh, they'll always mix up mayonnaise with it. So another option. You guys that love that Duke's mayo down here, right? So just mix your Duke's up there. Blackstone tequila lime seasoning. This is a really good lime flavor if you never had it, so. A little bit of black pepper. That's just a personal thing for me. Of course, you don't you don't need black pepper in there. I just tend to put black pepper in most most savory things that I cook. So black pepper, a little bit of salt as well. The key is making sure that bacon is you know, at least three quarters of the way done before you put the corn in there. Otherwise, your bacon is going to not be cooked. So, uh, cilantro down in the middle. If you don't like cilantro, don't use it. A lot of people say they'll they'll watch our videos and they'll say things like, "You had me until I saw the cilantro." But so don't let that be a deterrent. If you want to make it, and you don't like cilantro, just don't use cilantro. It's that simple. Uh, some people can't eat it. You know, it has there's a genetic thing where it tastes like uh, soap to some people. So I would be, that would be a shame. I can't imagine it because I love it. But some people just can't eat it. You guys like cilantro? Yeah. Nice. I never had it growing up. They didn't have cilantro where I grew up in the backwoods. I think I was 22 years old the first time I tasted cilantro. I was like, whoa, my goodness, what is this? So it all depends on what griddle you have. You know, if you have a small one, like a one burner, high heat, but yeah, I have all that... 10 pounds of frozen corn, so we just need to keep that flame going. Oh, that's cilantro. Gonna get that all mixed up. Hmm. I got the idea for the Cheetos on top from a gentleman out in Bakersfield, California a couple years ago. I think his name was Jeremy, and he showed me a picture of some Mexican street corn that he got at a food truck out there. And he's like, they put flaming hot Cheetos on top of it. And I was like, whoa, that's an amazing idea. So that's the cool thing. Back in the day, I was the first guy that ever did this, first guy that ever used the Blackstone griddle on social media. Uh, but the cool thing about everybody else doing it now is you, we get these amazing ideas. Blow my mind, you know, you're, you just cook this. I cook the same thing over and over, and then the wall twins or Blackstone Betty or one of you guys post a picture of something that you make, and I'm like, wow, why have I never thought of that before. Messy mess, right? Cooked 12, 13, no, we cooked 15 pounds of food. So if it's seasoned properly, just scrape it off. Get everything back there into the grease cup. Uh, we do have a lot of that bacon. It was smoked. There is some sugar on there. So there's some sugary residue on the griddle top. Typically I don't use water, but if I have sugar from stir fry sauce or 
you know, uh, really thick uh, seasoned bacon or whatever with a lot of sugar. Then I'll just grab some water and uh, we'll use it to kind of deglaze the top, if you will. Get all that sugar off and you can just scrape everything off into the grease cup like so. Pretty simple. Again, normally I wouldn't be using that, but if you got something super messy, it doesn't hurt at all. Just use, just use some water to get that boil. Watch your arms, man. You can get burned bad, you know, if you're not paying attention. See a lot of pictures posted of people who get burned all the time because they forget that they're working with a hot surface. I've got burned before. Just know that, again, this five, 600 degrees, if you slip, it's gonna hurt. So you're doing it at your own risk. Some people would choose to use our silicone gloves are like a pair of welding gloves, so if you do slip, it may, maybe it won't hurt as much. So there we go, all that yucky, sugary mess is off. Paper towels, I use a lot of Bounty. Uh, just rub everything in there. People use shop towels, whatever your favorite is. I just like to use Bounty, and uh, like so. That's pretty darn slick because we had bacon on there. Uh, but if we didn't, I would just put just another little dose of my cooking oil on there rub it in and then you're good to go. You can either turn your griddle off, uh, it's ready for the next day, or it's ready for your next recipe, whether it's crepes or pancakes. That's all there is to it. So it should always look beautiful, slick, a little shine to it, like so. Oh, yeah. oh the bacon fried corn seasoning, look at that. Let's put the Cheetos in there, so the cheddar jalapeno Cheetos in there. Of course, I never get sick of making big fried corn. We make a lot of it. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I got a little bit of that uh, crumbling cheese in there. A little bit of that, uh, where's that? A little bit of that Mexican yeah. crumbling cheese in there. And then, uh, let's see, do I have the Cholula over here? Here we go. We can't forget the Cholula. My favorite, of course, is Cholula chili garlic, but we have regular today. There we go. That's what it looks like. We have the little portion cups. We have there's our first person out there at the window today. <laughs> That's good. Is it good? That's good. Oh yeah, man. man, thank That's you. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. How is it? Very good. There's Very plenty good. more. If you need more, you get some more over there. That's only like three ounces. So how much more? There's plenty. I think there's plenty. You've had that before, right? Oh, yeah. Shout out to our graphic designer Pace, by the way. Man, did a great job with the trailer this year, didn't he? Sunday afternoon fun is eating bacon and corn in a Walmart parking lot, you might be a redneck. <laughs> Giving away the first ever Blackstone 17 inch E Series electric griddle giveaway. Can't see my camera, I want to make sure we're recording. Perfect. There we go. Let's set it right here in the middle for you guys to so admire. Right <laughs> I'm so scared. And the lucky winner is J.R.H. Oh my God, she did win. J.R.H. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. Oh my, wait a minute, Thank what you. do you have to say? Thank you. What are you gonna, what's what's going to be the first thing you're going to cook? Pancake. <laughs> 